Okay, good morning. Uh, I'm just going to go through doing some dummy variable creation using SPSS. So here we've got the Nike data we used for the earlier assignment. And what we want to do first off is create a dummy variable for gender. So here we've got sex is coded 1 and 2. Now let's say you want to separate out and have a dummy variable so that only one of those genders actually is coded as 1 and the other one is coded as 0. So let's take, for instance, um, the ones and turn them into zeros, and the twos and turn them into ones. So we're going to recode into a different variable. Here we've got sex, put that over here. We're going to call this um, males, I believe, or two. We're going to click on old and new values. We're going to have the values of one turn into zero. We're going to have values of 2 turn into 1. We're going to hit change and we're going to hit OK. It'll then give you the data output window. We can take a look back here and see that now we've got males. Hopefully males were 2. They've been changed to 1 and females have been changed to 0. And you can take a look at your data. It's really important to make sure that you actually have a zero as the other one and it's not just blank. If it's blank, it means there's no information and then it'll just leave it out. It'll exclude it, which is not effective. So you gotta have to make sure you have ones and zeros. So here we've got ones and zeros, that's good. Now another thing you might wanna do is change three different levels into two dummy variables. So again, what you wanna do here is we're going to change um, one as the base level, so one is going to be zero in both cases. I'm going to actually just take a look at Excel. So here we've got user group, and we've got one, level one, level two, and level three. Okay, and we're going to create a new dummy, dummy one, and dummy two. Now dummy one is going to be for indicating the second user group. And dummy three is going to be for indicating the third user group. And we're going to use the first user group as base. And the way that we know it's base is we're going to make it zero for both dummy variables. Now we want this one, this first dummy, to be for the second user group. And so we want it to be a one for that and a zero for everything else. And this next one, we want it to be for the third user group. So we're going to make that one one and zero for everything else. Okay, so that's, that's the plot of what we're doing here. So we've got three different user groups, and we're going to create two dummy variables, always one less than the groups you want. And so we're going to have one as our base, zero there. We're going to have only a one for the second uh, user group in the first one, and then only a one for the third user group in our second dummy variable. Okay, so going back to SPSS, we're going to code this. We're going to go transform, recode into new variable. We're going to hit reset to freshen it up again. And we're going to click user group. And this will be user group two. User group two. Old and new values. If it's a one, you want it to become zero. If it's a two, you want that to become one. If it's a three, you want it to become zero. Okay, makes sense. So only the second user group is going to be one. You want to hit change and hit okay. And then take a look at your data, really, really key. You can see here we've got zeros everywhere except for when we have a user group equal to two. Okay, so your user group is two we've got a one. Then we want to do the exact same thing for user group three. What we can do here is again hit reset, user group, user group three, user group three. Okay, so one becomes zero, two becomes zero, and three becomes one, because we want to indicate 
the third user group with this. Hit continue, hit change, okay. Again, look at your data, make sure it actually did what you wanted to do. Here we've got user group, we've got ones and zeros, that's good. And the first one, user group three, that gave us a one, which is perfect. So now what we can do is we can run a regression. We can include these, so say we want to run a regression and look at, um, let's just pick one, awareness of Nike. And let's say that depends on maybe your loyalty for Nike, I'm just making this up. We can put in a W variable for guys as well as user groups. Okay, hit OK. We can run that and see your output. There's our R square. And we can look down at our constants down here. And we can see here for men, it's um, 0.612. So gender doesn't make a significant difference in predicting awareness of Nike. So that one we just ignore. Not, not interesting. The other two do though. So user group two is significant and user group three is significant. So those, both of those are significant. We can take a look and what we can interpret these as is the beta here, so 2.069, tells you that going from a, the user group one to user group two, so if you change from user group one to user group two, you're gonna have a 2.069 increase in your awareness of Nike. And again, if you go from user group one to user group three, you're gonna have a 3.507 increase in your awareness of Nike. And I think these, I think user group one is light, user group two is medium, user group three is high. So that seems to fit. Again, if you want to make sure, check and take a look at the data um, descriptors and make sure this is the right thing. I guess we could actually do that right now. Um, save contents? No. We can take a look in variable view. That's actually a good tip. So here we can see, yeah, one was female, two was male. So we change one to zero and two to one. That is indicating males, that's right. And we can also take a look at user group. Yes, and we can see that one is light, two is medium, and three is heavy. Interesting. Okay, so that's how to do dummy variables in SPSS.